15. Today we are celebrating Takeout Tuesday, letting you know which restaurants in our area are saying we are open. And let's check in with Anthony Sabella. He is moving around this morning. You were in Smithfield last time, now in Suffolk with a local favorite that was going through some renovations when all this mess hit, and they haven't even, even been able to move back in, right? Yeah, you know, talk about great timing. It's behind me here is the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts, and this has been the home of the plaid turnip since really the beginning of the year, and it's where people have to come for their takeout orders for curbside pickup. Now, this location on Main Street I want to show you here is most familiar to the folks here in Suffolk, home to a restaurant named for two words owner Ed Beardsley never really saw go together. He says the original was only supposed to be closed a couple of months for renovations, and in the meantime, he would just op operate here of the Cultural Arts Center. Well, those renovations, I'm told, finished in March, and then Governor Northam issued his stay-at-home order literally right after those renovations finished. So no use holding a grand reopening when people are supposed to be staying in. So a month later, Beardsley is still here at the Cultural Arts Center. The plaid turnip is open seven days a week. It has a smaller staff, but the support has Beardsley determined to make it through. Our regular uh, guests um, have been fantastic. Um, they really make an effort to, um, to support us and other local businesses downtown. Um, there's also been a lot of support from the government, the city government itself. Um, Therese Earls, a friend of mine at Tourism, has started a website, I mean a Facebook page that's called um, Suffolk Virginia uh, Love Local, Eat Local, and it highlights all of, the, all of us local restaurateurs that are open uh, for delivering curbside service. Yeah, and Beardsley says the city really has been helpful with this. The Department of Economic Development is ordering and paying for box lunches that the plaid turnip is, is building. And then they go to churches, which are then donating them. So helping businesses, you know, helping bring in some revenue for some of these local businesses while also keeping people fed. As I mentioned, the plaid turnip is offering curbside take curbside service is offering takeout. Uh, it's located here on the Suffolk Cultural Arts Center. It's right on Finney Avenue, open seven days a week. For more information on specific hours, how you can get into contact, head to WTKR.com. Now coming up on WGNT when you make that switch, we're heading to the Edinburgh area of Chesapeake for a local spot that wants to get your wine Wednesday started a day early on Takeout Tuesday. So you don't want to miss that. We'll have that for you coming up a little bit later when you make that switch to WGNT. For now, though, we're live in Suffolk. Anthony Sabella, News 3. Never too early for a glass. Anthony, thank you.